Little Kim is putting her career in the hands of Nick Cannon. Yep, you heard that right. The Queen Bee revealed during Complex's interview series, Hiking with Rappers, that Cannon is now managing her. Nick Cannon, people don't even know, like, he's one of my best friends. We've been best friends for years, 20, 19 years, whatever it was. And um, we just shot a movie called uh, Miracle Across 125th Street. <laughs> yeah, I really did that movie for Nick, OK? OK, you did that for Nick. <laughs> but Nick. I love doing movies, so you know what I'm saying? It's something, it's, it's a part of my next level. Nick is convincing me. You know he's my manager. Kim also revealed she has a memoir titled The Queen Bee slated for release on November 2nd. As for Nick, his new daytime talk show is struggling in the ratings department. Y'all my family, right? In case you missed it, Nick Cannon premiered September 27th and only raked in 400,000 viewers for its debut week, placing it at the bottom of the talk show lineup. Cannon came out the gate with A-list guests, including Ashanti and Ludacris, but unfortunately, he still didn't fare too well. When the viewers are watching me, I, I hope they're thinking that I know this guy. I like this guy. Insiders speculate that Cannon's public support for Minister Louis Farrakhan, as well as his anti-Semitic statements in 2020, may have greatly impaired his ability to draw in a large audience. Still, Nick continues to host Wildin' Out and The Masked Singer, as well as his own morning radio show. So could it be Cannon Overkill? Weigh in below and let us know if you're feeling his daytime talk show. For Hollywood.com, I'm Jasmine Simpkins.